We found a drunk drone on the side of the road, so let's take a look at what it has to say. Up front, it has a three-axis gimbal for stabilization. The lens can be adjusted up and down. The one-inch sensor, the dual camera lens, the fisheye obstacle avoidance with laser obstacle avoidance wide roll. The bottom also has a night fill light infrared photosensitive element and two visual obstacle avoidance, including a switch for the fisheye obstacle avoidance battery at the rear and a charging port for charging an installation position for the 4G module. Let's put it on a flat place. Before taking off, we need to find a flat area to prevent the drone from hitting the propellers during takeoff, which would make it hard to get off the ground. Once we set it up, we can take out the remote control. Let's unlock our drone. All right, let's move a little bit to reposition and unlock it again. Last time, we talked about the flight altitude of our drone. Let's take a look at the real-time video transmission from the three-axis mechanical gimbal. How is that day going? How is they going? They rotate the drone around. The camera has the function to just move the drone up and down. You can support higher position than you can see the same height. You would give me funds to go to Angela to send us to pay with the guys 321, and you can go directly to Hardin can fly 2,000 meters away and 500 meters high. One battery can last up to 45 minutes and support zoom functionality with a maximum of nine times zoom. Today, we're going to test the drone's return to home function to see how accurate it is. What happens if I accidentally run out of battery on the remote control and it shuts down? If we lose signal, where will the drone go? Will it just get lost? Or can it return to the spot where we took off? This model supports one key smart return to home, low battery return, and automatic return when the remote control signal is lost. It features a master lens, one key short video, time-lapse photography, and night scene shooting. In the case of detecting obstacles in the air, it can automatically hover and navigate around. Let's take a look. The drone comes back, directly to our takeoff point, and descends. Our remote control here can show a very accurate return to home function. 